before you ask, yes, I'm fucking cheating. What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate1987, and today we're going to be reviewing both the exact same mold. Because, let's face it, it's the exact same transformation, exact same thing, exact same weapons. It's Might as well just mush them in one video and call it a day, you know? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Of course, we can't forget the other parts of the Cybertron crew. Of course, we don't actually have the uh, Bumblebee movie Prime or a Cybertron and Bumblebee or even Cliff Jumper. So the best thing we're going to do is these for now. So, yeah, that's our cast. Uh, let's bring in Mirage because, you know, he was part of Rise of the Beast and freaking hell. This is Wheeljack before he got fucked up. I hate, I just hate I just hate Pablo in the film. I really do. So that's all the Autobots. Moving on. Uh, in terms of Decepticons, uh, well, I mean they didn't never. I mean they were kind of. All right, let's be honest. We kind of are schooling a little bit ourselves here with. Uh, doing stuff with Cybertron, so Soundwave as a tank. Happy. Uh, Cybertronian, Megatron. I'm only doing this because I have my Megatron in robot mode and I refuse to transform him because he's just so good. And then, of course, Shatter, Dropkick, and Blitzwing. There you go. So, that's basically it for the Yokomo stock comparisons. And, yeah, let's just get down to transformation because I don't think I can hold this any longer because this is going to be possibly one of the most boring videos I've done. And yet, somehow, the most boring and I've become the most watched. I still don't understand to this day how the hell that um, 50, um, that that uh, first Legend Scale assortment video has 11,000 views. I, I just don't, I, I don't get it. I really don't. We're going to transform Ratchet first. It's easier, I guess. First thing you want to do is... You want to come on here and you want to open the tabs. Open the tabs like so. Flip these up, kind of. Flip these up just enough, kind of. And just let that be loose in a way. You can unpeg the arms. And that's going to basically unpeg this entire section. And unpeg all this. Then what's going to happen is you can unpeg from here, and then this is going to spin around. You're going to strain out the legs. Spin them around. Spin them around. And this is where it gets really convoluted. So... You got this part here. You have you have it like this, and then you have it like this. And what's going to happen is that you're going to bring this entire section down like so. It's going to fold up around the head and kind of just sit there while these wheels come back and there's these little pegs. They're going to wrap around like so I just realized this guy is gappy on the inside. What the hell? 
And look, yellow wing, yay! So I make sure it all snaps into place. And just fold out the hands and then you're done. That's... That's both of their transformations in... The sad part is he's like really loose. Both of them are. So let's just transform him really quickly. It's the same exact one. Wants to get over with. Why not? And there's both of them in their robot modes. I mean, what do you expect? They're kind of the same exact mold, and even Studio Series 86 is doing the same thing, so... It is what it is. So, let's get... I mean, I do like them, don't get me wrong, but I like Ratchet more. I honestly think he wears the mold a whole lot better. Plus, on top of that, they did not fix this. I was expecting them to keep it a little bit different, but no, they kept the exact same. Basically, the only difference between these two is paint and the head. That's it. Their articulation is just about the same. So, I'm just going to be using Ratchet because he's brighter. Uh, he's also the first one of this mold, so that's also something else. So head is on a ball, joint can look up that far, down that far, left and right, can do a full 360. We got some lead piping, but it sucks, kind of. Uh, he's got a swivel at the shoulder. He's got that much rotation. You got a bicep swivel. He's got a, uh, 90 degree bend to the elbow, no wrist rotation, he's got a waist rotation, let's can kick forward that far, can pack that far, can do the full splits, he's got a thigh swivel, he got 90 degree bend to the knee, he got a little bit of ankle tilt, but that's pretty much it. And considering the fact that the weapons are the exact same, I really don't know what else to say. Like, there literally is nothing else for him to do. All in all, I think they're a fine duo, and the fact that I'm just transforming them both, they're doing their, both their review on, on screen because they are the exact same mold. Literally, the only difference is the paint and the heads. And even then, what the hell. I do not have the two, I do not have the 2007 Ratchet anymore, so that actually counts out review, comparing them next to the old 2007 stuff. Sorry. Um, here they are next to Ratchet and Wheeljack. Not Ratchet, Wheeljack. Brawn and Wheeljack. Bumblebee and Soundwave. You want a core class? Well, fine, we'll give you it with, uh... With Ravage, I guess, because he was also in the movie. Stand. Why? Why weren't? Why aren't you standing? There you go. That's better. 
And then if you want to start a comparison with uh, with uh, leader class, you know what? We're going to bring in Galvatron. I think we've had you know it. Nah. Okay. Galvatron and then Megatron. How's that? All right. I need to use Flip. Both of them fell. Why did both fall? What the hell? Anyways, there you go. And if you want... I think that's it. So, let's just get down transformation. They had the exact same weapons, like I said. Black goes to Iron Hide. This one goes to Ratchet. So, it is what it is. And they both can store it on their back, by the way. They have a little peg right there. That you can store it right there on the back. Kind of like a little holster or whatnot. And it's pretty fine for the most part. You just got to actually plug it. I was plugging it the wrong way. There. Like that. That's how you plug it in. Okay. So, other than that, that's basically it. So, let's transform them. First, we're going to do Iron Hide. So, flip the hands in. Put the hands in. Let's, uh, shove the feet back in. Shove the feet back in. And let's just start taking all this apart. Because once we open this, it's a free body. It's free body. So, yeah. Open that up. Flip that all the way over. And around. Like so. To where it kind of creates this. Or not. And actually flip all this around. Like so. So we're going to leave it like this for now. It's weird, but we'll, you get the hang of it. So flip this around and then spin. Okay, actually spin the waist around and spin this around. Then bring the legs down. As much as they'll go. And bring them down like this. And then angle them in forwards like this. Wait, why do we... Why are the legs on the frickin... I'm an idiot. We weren't supposed to spend the waist. Were we? Did I seriously forget transformation for this shit? Give me a moment. Okay, no, I was doing it right. I was just showing in a wrong order. So, spin the waist like this. You're supposed to spin the legs around 180. Keep them like that. Make sure this is all straight and everything. Fold the legs in like so. And that should be enough clearance to kind of have these small tabs right here. Tab into those holes right there. That should mostly secure it. The rest of the securing comes from the arms and this part right here. So you're going to need to bring this down. Also bring the doors back a little bit so you have more screen room. Bring the arms forward like this and kind of push it upwards until it just slots into a certain hole in the top of the leg or something. It's hard to get it. At least if you don't know where to aim. But once you do, you can come down here. There's little tabs that you can just put onto these, the little ends of the foot like that, and then just tab everything together as long as you have the wheels straightened out. There you go. And there's... There's one all done. Let's do the other one. Same exact thing. It is the same exact thing. So flip these out. Flip the hands in. Push the feet up. Push the feet up. Spin the legs around. Untab. Bring this all the way up and around. 
Bring that up. Spin this around. Bring this down. Bring this down. Like so. Bring it all the way down. These are going to tab. Uh, make sure that these are straight. Right there. Bring all this down. Bring the arm doors back so you have more space to operate. Bring these in. Make sure these big tab, these big white tabs go into these cavities in here. Ah, uh, what the hell? Okay. These tabs are supposed to go into these slots right here on each side. There we go. Okay. Tab the arms in to those slots on top of the feet. And using this right here, tab in the doors, which would, should hopefully secure everything. And there you go. That's Ratchet and our hide interview commodes and end the review. The next review is actually kind of a fun one because I found this guy at Target and this is basically the mold that we're waiting for. Though when he actually released the, no, though by the time of this recording, they've officially revealed and actually are starting to ship out the, the real use of this mold. And that is the Detritus mold. Detritus slash hound. Earth hound to be exact. We finally got 86 Hound out now. Now we just need to wait for next year for Hatchet. Oh, God. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the notification bell so you can be updated on all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, to all our one.